Then we're back again for the writing lesson. Here we go. And we're going to be looking for some data. And I'm just going to look at any person's random thing here. So I'm going back to the popsicle sticks here. And we'll choose a random name. Kagami. Kagami. Unfortunately, Kagami never even started. So Nomura. Nomura. Let's so see if uh, we can find some data for Nomura. Now, uh, Nomura, uh, he's a good example because we did find data. Here he is. He's already got lots of numbers in here. 2000, Freddy is 75, 2073. He's got some data already in there. Does it support his argument? It's not argument supporting. It's mostly like a report. So it doesn't really count as uh, data supporting an argument. But at the same time, he could see the data and then he should highlight it in what color? Data, man. Data is highlighted in light green too. That's right, little Johnny, light green. So um, we're just going to resolve this. And Nomura could just highlight all these numbers in light green too. There it is, light green too. And then he's got some data. Now, uh, when we're talking about data that supports arguments, uh, Nomura's also got that. I look down here. Also, Queen has tons of great albums. In fact, they have 22. Uh, now the Beatles, you guys have only 21. Now he's using an argument to support that Queen is one of the greatest bands of all time. They have 22 albums, uh, more than the Beatles. He's another very famous group. That would be data. And again, to finish it off, and that's what I'll be checking for. I've got 22 papers to check. And if I don't see the light green, it's not done. So now Nomura would just go over here and check light green. Uh, 22 albums versus 21, uh, highlight light green 2, and Nomura now has data, and he can click resolve on that one there. Uh, would anybody li else like some help on this? Okay, choose a random name. Oshima. Oshima. So let's take a look at Oshima's paper, see if she's got some da data. Oshima's got uh, the data that people should wear school uniforms. So what would be some good ideas about some numbers about school uniforms? Well, one of the things that comes to mind is cost. So if you would look up the cost of a school uniform, we could just go and find up a random cost and uh, I'll go and look that I up. Type that up, I typed up cost of school uniform versus regular clothes and it pops right up there. There's actually a site that's gonna have some information for me. And to be honest with you, there's there's tons of stuff. We've got right here, it's got $300 for a school uniform. Regular clothes would cost $600. Um, right down here, it's got some nice pictures and graphs, which look good in your argument right here, the cost of those. I'm gonna go ahead, and, anyway, there we have it. And uh, once you get to this source, uh, you can also look at all this here. Um, and, and look at how fast I look through this here, and there's some numbers here. I see some numbers, numbers pop out because they got these like circles and stuff in there. And for some reason I can spot them easily. Uh, school uniforms for school year cost about $300. Regular clothes for school year cost $600. And there you go. And she would have some data for her report. So uh, don't say no, man, you can find the data. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, but now you gotta find some data. We need that in there for next lesson. Um, I expect to see uh, 22 out of 22 kids getting data into their papers. Help each other out if you're having any questions about numbers. Look through your sources again and see if you can find data.